to the fucking red light, you stupid bitch. Let's get the vlog started. I hope you're all doing fantastic guys. I'm super busy right now. I'm still working on my massive feathers, but I'm on my way back home from work and I just wanted to talk about my top five things I would upgrade to a motorcycle. You all knew the, know the situation. You got a new bike the first couple of weeks. It's cool. But then there are the little things you want to change. And I want to talk about what those little things are for me. For me, number five is a Fender Illuminator kit. I definitely want to get a Fender Illuminator kit when I get a new bike. Because many bikers don't like the look of the bike with the stupid stock Fender. I know it's due to regulation that you have to do it but bikes with a stock fender look ugly as hell so the first thing I want to get is a fender illuminator kit maybe with some new indicators or even an integrated indicator something like that number four number four would be an air filter it's a cheap little upgrade you can get for your bike but it helps so much ah uh, not so much it can add one or two horsepower but this isn't an upgrade I would get when I adjust for, uh, when I have the money I would just would upgrade to better air filter when it's time to change the air filter so it's not such an important upgrade. Number three would be a USB port. For me a USB port is super important because I use my iPhone very much for navigation and this drains the battery like hell. So I definitely need a USB port on my bike. Number two better tires just because your bike is brand new doesn't mean that the tires are great and oftentimes you have to or you should upgrade to better tires I recently talked to one of my subscribers about it who has a little bit more riding experience than I have and he told me that many bikes come stock with shitty tires and that's that it is usually a great idea to check whether or not the tires are good or not and then maybe invest those two or three hundred euros and get better tires because I did it on this 300 and man what a difference it made it's like day and night you can't describe it the handling is so much better you have so much more control over your bike and also much more trust and with those stock tires it was not dangerous but you just didn't feel that secure riding it so number two would always be better tires but let's continue to number one what would be number one for me of course it's a, another exhaust yeah but don't just go for any cheap exhaust because 
if you go for a cheap exhaust it will usually steal some of your engine power and with that goes your performance and especially if you are on a small motorcycle like the Ninja 300 more noise doesn't mean more power and you want to keep every single horsepower base on this motorcycle and yeah if you go for a sheep exhaust chances are high that you will end up with a weaker performance of your motorcycle and you definitely don't want that instead it's usually a good idea to go with an exhaust that's a little bit more expensive and by a little bit more expensive I mean at least 400 euros or dollars because that will make sure that the engineers of the exhaust manufacturer had enough resources to invest in the research and to yeah, to make the exhaust at least perform as good as the stock exhaust if not even better because there's a reason why manufacturers of cheap exhausts don't put any numbers on their website and if you go to the website of Krapovic um, for example when I always um, destroy the name it's Akrapovic so uh, if you go to their website they will tell you what the noise level is but also what the performance level of the bike will be after the installment and that's because they have really invested money in their research and they did a great job and so it's a great idea to invest a little bit more money and be happy afterwards instead of just going for the cheap option and for more noise because if you just want to have more noise just put a straight pipe on it maybe illegal but performance wise you might end up with the same thing so that are my top five picks for upgrades i want to get on a new motorcycle let me know what your top five pick would be Whoa. and i will see you next time bye bye So I have been thinking about upgrading to a bigger motorcycle I have been looking at a few different 600s on the internet Maybe even a bigger bike, I don't know yet um, my